You know how stressful it is when guidance systems go down. You lose field time. You lose yield potential. You lose patience. Help is here. Raven Cruiser 2 RTK with Slingshot. Precision simplified. Learn more at ravensimple.com. Our Weed of the Week is Roundup Resistant Mare's Tail. Darren, how are we going to stop this? Well, thing? okay, let's start with this. I've talked to farmers every day. Well, I've got some Mare's Tail, but I don't think it's really Roundup Resistant. Guys, you're fooling yourself. Yeah, you may have 100 Mare's Tail out there, but I would almost guarantee you, if you're farming in the United States, you've got at least one of those 100 yeah, but, that is Roundup but Resistant. but let's put it this way. I mean, maybe it's not Roundup Resistant. Maybe you just need to get better spray coverage and spray when the weather's a little warmer or use a higher rate. I mean, there are some of those things, too. Yeah, you're going to mix it up on us here a little bit. Okay, well, let's just talk about mare's tail control. When we think about mare's tail, I commonly think of this weed as a winter annual. It's one that likes to get a start in the fall. That way in the spring, by the time you're out there spraying things, it's already got some pretty good size to it and it's got a big root. But that's too. also why in conventional tillage, we don't have all that much problem with mare's tail because good tillage is going to wipe this thing out. Problem is light tillage is just gonna make it mad. You're gonna bend it off to the side and then it's gonna come right back. All right, so when we talk about no-till or reduced tillage operations, I'm not suggesting, hey, you have to forget about no-till and you have to do conventional tillage all over again because frankly, for a lot of the soils that no-till is being used on, that wouldn't be a good deal to switch back to conventional tillage. So let's talk about how we control mare's tail. Okay, on our farm, what we'll do in front of corn is we'll go out with a high rate of banville. A pint of banville will usually do a pretty nice job. Well, that's pretty specific too, Brian, to warm weather. If you've got really cold weather, and that's the challenge with mare's tail, you've got to pick good days to spray it, and you may have to spray it after it's warmed up for a couple days. Don't just say, well, the high today is 70, I can go kill it. Not necessarily if the high has been 40 for the last two days. Yep, that's true. But if you need to wait and now it's in crop, then I would probably go with status. Banville, you want to do pre-emerge. Status would be much better post-emerge because of the corn safener. In the there. other thing to think about is don't use a reduced rate or a Roundup Ready rate. Use right. the full rate because just assume that your Roundup's not going to work. And you know what? Hey, if you used a full rate of Roundup with a full rate of another product, that Roundup probably cost you two or three bucks. It's no big deal if you had just a little bit of overkill. But if you miss that and you don't control a mare's tail plant, now all of a sudden it's going to be two feet it tall is. with a huge root and it's almost impossible to get. Oh, uh, well, yeah, but still status is pretty good. What I think though is in soybeans, we don't have a lot of good options post-emerge in soybeans. You've got to have a good burn down. And our recommendation is probably Authority MTZ, probably be your best way to go pre-emerge. Sharpen is okay, but you can only use one ounce in front of soybeans. If I could use two, that'd be great, but I can only use one in front of soybeans. Well, that's a good point. In front of corn, you could use a lot higher rate of sharpen and that does a nice job, you know, something like verdict. Yep, Valor is okay in soybeans too, but Authority MTZ might just be the best. Post-emerge in soybeans, what do you think? In soybeans, post-emerge, first rate's probably your best bet. Mix some Flexstar with it, you'll get a little better results. Before we had first yep. rate, we'd try Classic and Pinnacle or Harmony combination, and it was okay, but I really do like the first rate better. Well, once again, mare's tail is a tough weed. We would suggest you assume your mare's tail is Roundup resistant, so you don't have a mistake, and then you have a whole bunch of big mare's tail, especially in soybeans. We just don't have anything real good post-emerge. That's it for our Weed of the Week. Stay tuned. Iron Talk is coming up next.